In this video, I'd like to show you how to create this design in Cricut Design Space, and it's all done with one single spiral. In order to create an image in a spiral, I'm using this website called spiralbetty.com. So what we need to do is upload an image and I will click on this and then I downloaded some dolphins from Creative Fabrica website and I have links below for all the various sites that I'm using so that you have a direct link to them. These are all dolphins and I will choose one of them. So let's do this one here. And there is your dolphin and we're good with that. If you needed to zoom in, you can certainly zoom in on the image and it created the design for you. Now I do go over here and I just use the black and white version of it. If you need to fit it to the screen, you can change this, but this is the size that it works. Now the other thing you can adjust is how many rings this goes around. So right now that's where it defaulted to. Now if you wanted more contrast, you can zoom over this way and this is going to take a lot longer to cut on the Cricut. And if you go here, obviously you can't tell how many, you know, what the design is. So I generally adjust just a little bit to it. I don't go all the way here because that's going to be really hard to cut, but I do add a little more rings to the design. Now I do have another video that I did where it's text on a path. So it goes around the, the you can create the text going around on the, the rings, but I have a link to that video at the end of this one. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check that out. Once you have this, then you click the download button and this is for personal use. You can't make these and then put them on various merchandise to sell, but for your personal use, you can use it. So download it and then that's going to go into your download folder. Now, if you wanted, let's say I want to show you one other option. Okay. So let, what if you wanted to do the image of someone on here versus just the black and white clip art in order to do that, you do need just the photo. So no background kind of things, cause that's going to muddle the picture. So in order to do that, what I use, I mean, you can use any other kind of app to remove backgrounds. But what I use is Canva and I have a link for this down here as well. For that, I created one. Let me just show you what I did. I uploaded the image that I wanted to use. So I have this image here. And as you can see, all the stuff is behind the kitty. And for this, I go up here to effects and you use the background remover. For this feature to work, you do have to have a pro subscription to Canva but I find that I use it so often for things for the YouTube channel and for creating flyers or anything like that. So it's definitely worth the subscription because I just use it a lot. And that was it. That was super easy to remove the background. Now what I do is I'm going to crop this. I don't want this whole thing in here. So I go up to crop and it kind of looks like it went back to the original, but it's still no background on there. So I'll crop it to that and then we're done. And I download it, click on download, and then I download it as a JPEG file. So you can see it down, it's going to download the photo this way. And I will go back to the Spiral Betty website and upload the image. So now I will upload the design that I just created. And there's the kitty. You can see it's just in the center and I do want to enlarge this one. So I will enlarge it and then shift it down. Now to me, this looks a little weird that it kind of cuts off there. So I will continue enlarging it and then just drag it down so that it's doesn't look like you cut off half the kitty. So I'll download down here. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is I try and as this is spiraling, this is your center point. So I will not place something where the final point is like right over the eye or right over the nose, because that just makes it look a little strange in the photo shift over. So this is where your center point is going to be. And I'm good with that. Click on that. And there's the cat. It's 
the black and white and then you can again adjust the rings if you want a little more definition it's going to take a little longer to cut that's the only thing but i'm good with it right there and i will download this now once you have the downloaded now i've downloaded the dolphin and then i downloaded the kitty we're done with this portion so now i'll open the cricut design space and i will upload and upload as you can see i already did this previously but i'll upload the image and the first one is the dolphin so there is the dolphin and then i do click on complex for the next portion now if i zoom out of this there is the image but it's still has the white background i want this transparent so i just click on the white portion as you can see it just completely removed the background and we continue and i want the cut image not the print and then cut upload that so i have the dolphin and i'll upload the kitty one more time browse and the second one was the cat and there's the cat and same thing we do a complex upload and i will zoom out just so you can see it now if you do the rings too close together it might get some of these might touch a little bit so it's going to be harder to remove the background so you don't want that's the other reason you don't want to get too close you may have to individually remove every single ring but i clicked on the just on the out, outer portion of this and it removed the white everywhere upload and i have both designs and we'll cut the dolphin first and then the cat i'm planning on doing out of iron on to put on a t-shirt the dolphin click on that insert image and if you look at this right now it's 19 inches by 19 inches cricket can't cut that big so i go up here to more and change this to 11.5 which is the maximum size on the cricket mat and then we just make it so that's all that's involved on the computer portion i'll cut both of these designs with the cricket maker and then i will show you what the design looks like once it's cut okay while my other image is cutting out i decided to do the dolphin out of the blue vinyl and i do trim this off because these are little scraps that i can use in my card making and i use die cuts to cut things out of this i have a video on what to do with vinyl scraps so you can check that out as well okay so that i'll save off now what i need to do is find the end of this now i know that it's this is discarded so as far as the starting point of my line it is right here which you can't quite see but it's super super thin and there this is how thick the line is that's gonna stay so i'm gonna cut this here so i can go around and around to clean this off okay so now there's the starting point of the spiral that's gonna stay on and a trick here to hold this down and make the unraveling so you don't have to keep going round and round fast i'll use a little bit of painter's tape to hold this down so now the image is not going anywhere and now i can oh let me do this corner too that way the image is not going anywhere and i can unravel this almost like unraveling yarn okay so now it's much faster to get this off I have to think of a project what to do with this part so there you have the dolphin this would be great to add to a pillow put in a frame put on a shirt whatever you would like so this is just permanent vinyl and it obviously wouldn't work as a shirt but I am cutting right now the one image that I did out of HTV so that I apply so that I can apply that to a shirt and I'll show you that once that's finished cutting 
same with this design so this is the HTV vinyl and I did mirror this one I'm gonna pick I'm going to pick this part off here and I did trim off the corners on this as well so this I'll do the initial one so that I have a little bit of empty area where I can tape this down so it stays in place while I take the rest of it off now that I've cleared the border off I can put this down and there you have the image now this is gonna it's an HTV so it's gonna go down this way and let me take this away so it doesn't have that underneath close up you may not be able to see the images but look how beautiful that is so now I'll apply this to a shirt and I'm using a heat press with this so that I can get even coverage and it's pretty fast with that after lots of weeding and taking all this stuff out this is where whoops this is how this ended up so I put it in a shadow box and then added these seashells they are glued down to the mat itself and now for the HTV one I transferred the cat onto a shirt and there is the cat so I put this on a shirt transferred it and then how cute is that when you really close up you can't quite tell but from far away this is really really cute so I hope this video was helpful if you have any questions please comment below join my Facebook group and post your projects there and don't forget to check out that other video if you are interested in learning how to do text along a path like this you obviously can't do it this tiny but that's another video and a little more technical because you do have to use a different software to get the design on a path but try this one out first it's really fun to do thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next project